and uh, another thing is that as soon as we start to adding flaps it will auto throttle will automatically adjust the speed to the designated flap number as long as you are not on glide slope when you are already on approach and on localizer and on glide slope then you need to adjust your speed manually that is one thing uh, very important to mention that it will not if you are already on glide slope and you still have flaps to add you need to adjust the speed every time you you crank the speed you lower down the flaps you crank the speed when it come down you lower down the flaps that's how it go but as long as you are in vnav and lnav mode actually vnav mode uh if we add flaps now it's going to slow down to 200 knots but i will not do that because then it will take forever to uh finish this transition so i'm going to zoom in a little bit and you can see we already have dme of 16 miles but the dme doesn't mean anything because we are go further and then come back to the runaway so this is direct dme from here we are 16 miles from the runaway which actually mean nothing at this moment you can see that we slowly descending to 6000 feet because actually our restriction of 6000 feet is all the way to the turn so we will stay on 6000 feet until the turn that turn here I hope this is interesting for you it is amazing very good airplane and uh, I hope you're gonna like it and I hope you're gonna fly it because it's really worthy it is really study level and everything work perfect I love it like I said I prefer Boeing over Airbus but with this Phoenix now come out I really have desire to buy it but I cannot now uh, and remember what I mentioned uh, match the heading bug to the actual heading of the aircraft always especially on the final approach because uh, what we have here is uh, we need to climb a uh, missed approach we need to climb to 5000 and uh, hold hold over the FNDV NDB FND NDB okay I believe it's NDB it's uh, not it's VOR fish amen we are okay so we need to climb straight ahead to 10 miles 9.8 miles distance from the localizer and then turn right to VOR and then we do hold on the VOR with fish Hammond here that is our missed approach but we probably won't uh, need that missed approach hopefully because we are good everything is good hopefully it will stay that way and also we can look outside a little bit it's clear weather and the airport should be somewhere around there on that side behind our back somewhere there and uh, you can see that we have here restriction of 6000 feet still and we will have a restriction all the way until here to 6000 feet so it's fine it's just fine just follow the procedure actually computer follow the procedure you don't even have to do anything just monitor that everything is going well
engines are in continuous ignition as it should be and everything is good everything is fine go back ah see 125 so we're gonna just transfer it here and put it here as our final speed of 125 plus 5 it's gonna give us 130 knots on approach and that is something that you will have to set here because uh, when you on the glide slope then you will have to set your speed manually you will see that okay we have another restriction on 6000 feet so we are sticking to that uh, what I can do actually now is arm the approach and uh, you can see that uh, localizer is armed and glide path is armed and hopefully as soon as we uh, trade in here we will capture the localizer already and then our L nav will turn off and then when we reach the glide path glide slope then our V nav will turn off and we can monitor here very soon you can see ah there you go we are on localizer mode and l nav is off now we are following localizer to the runway okay uh, we are still in v nav speed right we are still in v nav speed and uh, we are slowing down so we are now approximately uh, 20 miles from the runway and we're gonna be on 3000 feet somewhere around here which is cool okay so now what we're going to do is start slowing down a little bit not much just a little bit let's add flap one and you can see that uh, speed automatically go down to 180 knots and uh, what we maybe need to do is add a little bit of speed brake because fmc say drag required we're gonna need a little bit of speed brake just to slow down for the speed of the flaps and when we're slowing down I'm going to proceed with flap 2 which is very close to flap 1 and then with flap 5 which is a little bit lower down around 160 knots there you go and now you will see up oh, the speed jump to flap 5 and we're gonna stick to this uh, at the moment I am still having speed brake uh, pulled I will uh, release it very soon as soon as we reach to this speed of uh, 100 and let's say 55 knots as you can see we are very nice on the path to intercept our glide slope we are actually below it which is good so we are still good and now I'm gonna release speed brake and arm it so this is how you arm speed brake it's just like that you can click here and pull up and that's speed brake arm okay and that's how it needs to be for the landing I don't think we're gonna need any more speed brake because now when I drop down the landing gear actually we will have more drag uh, included so we will slow down really really fast okay so now we're gonna be soon 10 miles from the airport and on that mark I'm going to drop the landing gear and start slowing down further 
but you can see also the glide slope is still not moving so we still have space to do things slowly we don't have to rush anything and it is smart that you start matching remember that blue line i told you about throttle here see i'm moving it it is good that you start matching your throttle with the throttle with the actual throttle in the aircraft because you're gonna need it soon because when we going to land i'm gonna turn off the auto throttle and i'm gonna turn off the autopilot i have buttons for that on my joystick so i'm gonna do that uh let's drop down landing gear because we are very close to the 10 miles from the airport So we have good, three greens, excellent. Flap 10, going to be same as flap 5. Just a little bit more drag, not much. Flaps 15 will already be lower down. But for now, let's stick to flap 10. And let's wait for the glide slope to become alive. Let's see there. And we see the airport in the distance? Uh, barely not yet. So we still have time. A lot of time. And try to match the throttle. It is too early. You don't have to really match it now. But when you establish on the glide slope. Oh, speaking about glide slope. It started to move. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add flap 15 and wait until the speed uh, go down to flap 15. And we will be very close actually to the uh, our approach speed. So let's wait now. You will see when glide path take over, when this diamond come in the middle. Okay. See? V nav is off and we are controlling manually our speed. Now no more automatic. We are controlling manually. Now what you uh, crank up here, it will move this uh, thing here. So what we gonna do now? If we wanna continue adding our flaps, let's say 25, right? We are going to add 25. We will set up our speed of 130 because 125 plus 5 will give us 130 and that is our approach speed so we are going to set up our approach speed and we can also go to the full config of flaps 30 that's so nice it's not hectic and it's uh, super smooth if you prepare yourself on time everything is so good so actually we are done here we don't need to do anything else anymore and uh, we can actually uh, zoom out and you will see that the runaway is right in front of us we are excellent on the localizer and glide slope we are good we have wind of almost 18 knots straight in the nose which is good and uh, now when you zoom out uh, you should just match your throttle speed with the gauge here right and uh, whenever you are confident to release auto throttle and uh, autopilot i usually tend to do it especially uh, you can see there is a little bit of turbulence and waving and everything so i let it go this beeping is outer marker that uh, means we are past outer marker and uh, very soon we're gonna hear uh, our minimums not that soon but soon and also uh, here say single channel if you have uh, turn on second autopilot for auto land uh, then it's gonna say uh, I believe it's it will still say single channel but uh, here will be flare and uh, everything but now we won't have flare because we are going to land uh, manual right now like i said match your throttle as much as you can you don't have to be super precise 
just match your throttle uh, a little bit with the gauges especially in the moment when you are about to disengage auto throttle then it's very important that you match your throttle so it doesn't change your uh, speed so you don't go in the stall or something that is very very important okay so we are close to the runaway really close i'm gonna wait for a while just a little bit more to stabilize because i can see that we are like a little bit like on turbulent sea waving a bit and we are at minimums uh, that should be actually the sign for you to match your throttle and turn it off turn off your autopilot and flare and land that's it and now you can add reverse thrust more reverse until you reach to 60 knots on 60 knots you can stop and now I'm using manual brake which will override the auto brake because I'm I want to exit on this taxiway You can see your ground speed on the upper left corner of ground of uh, navigational display. We are now at uh, 12 knots and I'm going to stop here. I'm going to release a uh, speed brake. I'm going to pull the flaps up, clean the airplane, right? Now I'm going to uh, go up, turn off continuous uh, ignition. Start the APU, turn on taxi light and turn off landing and runaway turn off lights. That is important. So we're going to start our APU. That's fine. Uh, what we need to do is we can turn off anti-collision light too at the moment because we are not on the runaway. And also what we want is to turn off our transponder to stand by. So that's it. You can also, what you can do is you can off your flight directors and reset your parking brake. That's it. And now you can taxi to the end of your choice or if ATC give you any. But that is how you do it. Why we start the APU, you wonder? Uh, because we want to turn off the engines as soon as we park. So we can uh, open the door and let the passenger go out. But we will still need power on the aircraft. And uh, I know we are going to get uh, power from the jetway or from the ground. But still we turn the APU so we can have air condition and everything. It is easier that way, trust me. Later you can switch to the ground power and turn off the APU, but uh, for the... Now, for the first moment, it is good to have APU. This is auto throttle uh, warning. You can reset by pressing it there. And also all warnings you can reset by pressing this or this button and you can test by pressing here and reset here that is how you reset your warning now we taxi to the gate I'm going to take the left turn here and then the right turn immediately I believe so uh, I personally advise you to not make turns more than 10 knots 
We are now at 15 knots. But I mean you can if they are gentle and soft like this one. But if uh, it's like more sharp turn like this one for example. I recommend you to slow down at least on 10 knots. 10, 11 knots and then gently turn. It will be way easier for you to steer. Way easier. So now what we're going to do is uh, park our aircraft. Uh, bring it back to cold and dark state and in the next video I'm going to show you how actually you can save your state which will save you from that uh, uh, cold and dark startup aligning IRS and everything uh, it's super easy You just need to save preset and I will show you how to set up that preset to always be loaded with your aircraft. So whenever you load the aircraft it's going to load that preset for you and you don't have to think oh my god did I turn on this did I turn on this. It's easier I mean you can go from cold and dark always if you want but uh, if you really eager to take off and don't want to waste too much time on preparation uh, it is super easy to uh, to do it like that so I will show you and then you choose are you gonna use it and when you gonna use it it's totally your choice bro I am here just to tell you all your possibilities and you are the one who gonna choose what actually you want right but it is good to know that you have that possibility actually there is already few preset saved there so like there is cold and dark preset there is uh, I believe a fully start preset ready for takeoff and something like that so there is there are few presets already saved. Uh, I'm going to park there at the terminal building. That's why I'm not turning yet. I'm going to wait. I'm going to park at the jetway. So we can connect our jetway to the aircraft. And uh, I'm going to show you how actually. Well, it's easy. Actually, you need to have that pushback add-on that I mentioned before it's super easy and it's cool so I'm going to aim for the for the okay this one is with airplane this one is with airplane uh, let's go to the next one now Let's slow down a bit. I can see anything. Jeez. Okay. I can see now, but barely. Because of the sun. So strong. And the concrete is super white super difficult to see anything and there we go go down and stop that's it pull the parking brake and now uh, why we turn on the APU now we can switch the power from the main bus from the engines to the APU and uh, we're gonna turn on APU bleed switch off engine bleed turn off the packs right 
now already become silent uh, we can also turn off the eating because we don't need it anymore right now we can uh, go down to the engine and we can cut off the fuel of the boat engine and monitor here they will slowly go down but we are still on APU power remember they are going down okay we can turn off the taxi light and put on the strobe and steady okay that's it now we can turn off all three pumps leave only the one that is required for the APU to run and now we go to our FMC FS actions ground services uh, we're gonna set up the wheel chocks and then we're gonna go to the door we're gonna open the door and oh, one more thing next page we can open even cargo door I don't know will cargo uh, guys will come or not but we can open cargo door and now we can go to the main of FMC uh, also which is important ground services we can request for ground power which will be connected at the moment uh, we cannot ask from here uh, for the jetway but we can ask from the another menu from let's reset this thing and then let's ask for the jetway and then when we go out we will see that jetway is going to connect or maybe it won't if we stand too close I believe we are a little bit too close yeah because we cannot connect the jetway because we are too close I should actually stop here interesting how they don't have those marks I go all the way to the end of the line but I should actually stop here at number one or two I didn't even see those numbers from the cabin that's how bright it was anyway doesn't matter we don't need jetway we don't need jetway there is another thing I want to show you here uh, let's go down to the FMC uh, FS actions ground services and not ground services doors and extend the air stair oh what is that let's check it out look at that now look at that wow huh look at there is the stairs so our passengers can just walk out from the airplane without problem voila our ground power is connected so what we going to do is go up here uh, switch to the ground power then we can turn off our APU APU bleed also we can turn off the fuel pump put the strobe on off and now we can uh, turn off the emergency exit lights and finally when we are done with everything we can even release the ground power turn off the standby power and also turn off the battery now we are back in cold and dark actually one more thing what you need to do is reset those switches to off if you really want to fully be in cold and dark state and now you're ready you are ready to uh, actually see oh interesting we cannot open the window huh yeah I didn't show you uh, also there is uh, a HUD here and you can adjust brightness and uh, it will show you it it can help you with landing and actually uh, work very good with uh, this with this thing with AG, HGS 
uh, you need to set up that everything you need to enter the runaway land uh, glide slope and everything and then uh, if you gonna use that uh, that uh, HUD you can use it it going to help you with landing but I didn't use it I'm usually not using it some pilot use it some pilot don't it's your own preferences I can also make a one video and show you how to use it and how to set it up but like I said I'm personally I don't use it so actually that's it for this video thank you very much for watching and uh, nothing see you in the next video next video is going to be in a few days and it's going to be how to set up that preset in the FMC for the uh, so you don't have to start from cold and dark and after that I'm going to continue the series of PMDG with certain things that I think that you should know so uh, expect more videos about Boeing. Thank you very much and see you in the next video. Bye!